Hey, what's up, guys? Um, earlier I did a video uh, having some fun at the situation that went down with uh, Radio Raheem and Deontay Wilder uh, talking about the fight, uh, you know, having some fun at Deontay Wilder's expense. Uh, this video is meant to be a serious video, you know, serious subject. Uh, no laugh matter here. The reason I'm doing this video is because uh, T Street did a video and Black Horseman did a video. And uh, shout out to them. And uh, they inspired me to talk about this. Uh, they were asking basically, was uh, Radio Raheem out of line? Um, you know, uh, you know, sh should he have gone where he went? Was it a rhetorical question? Um, you know, questioning if he was just trying to poke Deontay Wilder to get a response or whatever. All right. Uh, we need to have a serious uh, educational moment here. All right. Now, I've said before uh, in videos that I was a journalism major, you know, a long time ago. All right. Uh, so I know a little bit about uh, this area. All right. Even though I... I do not claim to be a journalist or a reporter. Uh, some people have labeled me that, but um, you know, I've always said that I'm a fan. You know, I talk about these things as a fan. But uh, was Radio Raheem out of line for what he did, what he said with Deontay Wilder? Uh, the answer is absolutely not. He was not out of line. And I'm going to tell you why. All right. Radio Raheem uh, is a journalist. He has a worldwide platform with Seconds Out and YouTube. All right. We have to, uh, you know, think outside of the box. Think very open-minded. All right. These videos aren't just being seen by uh, Americans. You know, they aren't just being seen by Brits. Uh, you know, these videos are being seen all over the world. All over the world. You know, possibly viewed in uh, any and every country that has um, internet access. Access to YouTube, okay? Um, when Radio Raheem asks, you know, uh, you know, who are you fighting for? You know, uh, you know, what, what are you fighting for? You know, who, who are you talking about? You know, that is a legit question, man, because there are people out there who have no idea what Deontay Wilder is talking about. When Deontay Wilder says that he is fighting for his people, you know, there are people out there who are asking and wondering what people, you know, who is he talking about? Is he talking about his fans? Is he talking about black people? Is he talking about Americans? Is he talking about people from Alabama? Now, that is a very vague uh, and not clear statement. He could be talking about any group of people. All right. Now, most of us, myself, uh, a lot of people watching this video, uh, you know, the boxing hardcore, you know, a lot of people know what he's talking about. But there are people out there who do not know what he's talking about. You know, that could be a 15 year old kid uh, in Mexico who has no idea what he's talking about. You know, that could be an 18 year old in Japan who has no idea what he's talking about. You know, that could be a 21 year old woman in Australia who has no idea what he's talking about. You know, people who are not from the States, people who have not been in the South, people who uh, have not been to Alabama, you know, who don't know much about the history of this country. No idea what he's talking about. And Wilder said, you know, to Google it. Okay, if you type in who is Deontay Wilder fighting for in Google, what's going to pop up? Probably not the, the answer that he would like or what he thinks will pop up. All right. Radio Raheem was giving this guy the opportunity to be very clear uh, to the public, to the world, as to what, his, what he was fighting for, who he was fighting for, you know, what his cause is. And really, Deontay Wilder fumbled the ball, man. Uh, what if Deontay Wilder would have said, I'm fighting for Muhammad Ali, I'm fighting for Malcolm X, uh, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, uh, Trayvon Martin, I'm fighting for, you know, any and all black people that have, uh, 
you know, uh, received injustice in their lives, who have been mistreated, done wrong. What if he said that? You know, what if he said, uh, I'm, I'm fighting as the world heavyweight champion, I'm fighting for, for every human being out there who has been mistreated, who has been uh, done wrong in their lives, who has been wronged. What if he said that? You know, so he, he should have been clear uh, in, in what he meant, you know, and not just being vague, you know, and saying, you, you know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about. You know, I'm, I'm fighting. I'm fighting for your people, too. You know, there are actually people out there, guys, who do not know what he's talking about. You know, you have to think about the worldwide audience watching these videos, man. You know, leaving people to speculate. And uh, Radio Raheem was making it to where nobody had to speculate. Deontay Wilder could have made a profound statement. He could have made a statement that said, damn, man, wow, you know, what a wow, what a statement he made, you know, what a cause he's fighting for, you know, instead of coming off as, you know, just a, a angry black guy, you know, let's call it what it is, man, you know, so I just wanted to come on and uh, really quick, man, you know, say, uh, kind of clear it up and kind of give people uh, a different perspective, man, you know, let people look at it a different way. Uh, you know, Radio Raheem is uh, asking for the public. It is not his job to assume uh, what Wilder means, to put words in his mouth. You know what he means to relate to to interview Wilder, and then after the, after the interview, say Deontay Wilder is fighting for all the black people in the world. He's fighting for all the uh, African Americans in America. You know, it's not Radio Raheem's job to do that, man. You know, it's his job to uh, ask the questions, uh, to try to find out the facts. And uh, let the people see see it for themselves. You know, he is the middleman between the public and the person being interviewed. So, you know, that's it, guys. Uh, yeah, I salute Radio Raheem. He, he he was doing his job, man. He was doing his job. Uh, and Wilder could have made a, 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 a great statement. And uh, he did not, man. So, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. And I will check in with y'all soon. Thanks for watching.